Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I want to talk about um, responsive web design and some issues or some things that I keep thinking about and I wanted to shoot a, a quick video on my thoughts on, on responsive design and how I feel um, as web designers. We have to be careful or you have to be careful on focusing on responsive design so much that, um, that it, it, it hurts your website, so to speak. Um, I see a lot of responsive web designs out there that are starting to look templatized, meaning they look like they're built on a framework, okay? And it looks unengaged. Um, the creativity is kind of moving away um, because most web designers or developers are more so concentrating on whether or not elements within their page can scale when, you know, based um, for different devices or if the browser resizes and things like that. You're, so, you're, you're more so focused on the development and the functionality of the responsive website, but you're missing the whole entire picture in terms of the user experience, okay? So when a user comes to your website, um, you know, if the site can scale and respond to different resolutions and the user doesn't really care about that. They're on that site to, to get to some particular place, to find out some information about a product or something, right? And so what happens is I'm, I'm seeing a lot, I mean, it's a, it's a trend, it's a heavy trend. It came out last year, it started, I mean, a few years ago, but it's really big today. You see these full page responsive websites, buttons are huge. And I'm looking at websites and I can't even find my way around some of these sites because some of the images or some of the buttons and things I'm just missing because we've been taught since 1950s that a button is this big, you know, and now it's a giant size button as, you know, with my full screen resolution. And, uh, you know, content is minimal. Um, there, things are not engaged or not engaging um, somewhat. There's only the, the select few of like, you know, agencies that can really get it right, that can do a full size, full scale, responsive web design really, really well, that has um, really engaging content and information. But 90% or 80% of the sites that are out there are built on frameworks like Bootstrap or some sort of uh, uh, responsive framework that are really just taken as a template and use designers go in there and kind of change some things around you know just slightly but it's still adhering to that template and it looks very cookie cutter it looks very minimal and uninspiring so a lot of times I get designers that um, ask me questions and they tell me to look at their websites and their portfolios I see their work and it's based on these responsive templates and it just looks very plain dull and uninspiring and and to a real user um, it won't really last it wouldn't last like a real user wouldn't last on that website you know they'll probably visit the website and then go back and, and go somewhere else okay so um, all I'm saying is as web UI designers we have to be careful on um, whether or not re a responsive framework is is the right thing to use for a particular project okay so keep that in mind yes it's great it has its benefits but be careful on not just getting um, uh, stuck into this sort of system where you start to build these websites on this cookie cutter system and things just start looking very templatized and plain and, and dull okay if you if you have an idea on what I'm talking about if you kind of experience this and you have this this idea Leave me a comment, you know, um, voice your your opinion and let me know your thoughts on this. But I'm sure I'm not alone on it because as I talk to people about this, I'm getting a huge response and people like agreeing with some of the things that I'm saying. So anyway, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for tuning into this video blog. We'll talk soon. Peace.